Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to take a look at another one of my favorite menu bar applications, and that is Card Hop by Flexibit Software. Now, Flexibits are the same group that makes Fantastical, and they've also taken a stab at Contacts, and I think they've done a really good job. I like it much more than the standard Contacts application that's included by Apple. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. There it is on the actual Mac App Store where you can buy it from here. I'm going to go ahead and just put this down. Now, because it lives in my menu bar, you'll see up at the top here, I've got this little icon, and this is Card Hop. If I click on it, you'll see that I get this window. Now, I've chosen to detach it for the sake of this screencast, but typically it'll just stay attached up here to the menu bar. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the things that we have here in the application. What you'll notice is down the side you have your typical uh, different accounts. You can see there's iCloud, Exchange, On My Mac. And then you've got your different groups underneath there. And then over here is where you'll actually see your contacts. Now if you don't like the sidebar over here, you can always hide it just by clicking on this and it'll shrink everything up and make it nice and tidy and we're all set and ready to go. And now you can see here uh, on my Mac, I've got myself and I've got Apple. And notice that when I hover over it, I get these icons over here. So right from here, I can send a message, I can make a phone call, or I can do a video chat. So I can do either one of those. So FaceTime a call and a mess iMessage. So right from the actual contact area right here. Uh, I can also, if I just click on this, you'll notice I get a little pop out there that gives me all of the information about this particular contact. And you can see it's Apple. And what it shows me is it shows me the different accounts that it's in. You see it's available on iCloud. It's also available on my Mac. And then over here, it shows me what groups it's included in. And if I just click right here, you can see the different groups that I've got. And I can actually add this contact to any one of these groups just by selecting it, and it'll show up in that group. I can also choose to remove it from a group, and it will disappear as well. Let's go ahead and click off of that. If I ever want to change the image, I just click on the image here, and you can see there's the current picture. I can delete it, or I can select a new picture, and it'll take me into the Photos app to find that picture that I want to select. Let's go ahead and click off that. Again, across the area right here, uh, again, I can, I can message, I can call, I can uh, send, do a video chat. I can also do email. Now, the only reason that's grayed out is because I don't currently have an email showing here for this contact. So anything that you don't have here won't be available to use because you don't have the information in there. Now, each of the fields, if I just click the drop down, you see I can change the label at any time to whatever I want over here. I can even make a custom label if I want to do that as well. And then I can choose what to do with this particular item. I can call, I can call with FaceTime audio, Skype, FaceTime, uh, send a message, I can use WhatsApp, uh, and I can also show large type. So if I just uh, click on that, you'll see I get the large type there across the screen, uh, which is nice. Let's go ahead and click off of that. And so I have those options in here as well. And then I can copy it or even delete that particular phone number. I can do the same thing here with the address. Uh, with the exception of I got a couple other things, I can open this in Maps if I want to do that. I can get directions right away. It'll open the Maps application and give me directions. Uh, again, large type, copy, copy the map URL, and I can choose the address format depending on what country uh, or area that I'm located. Uh, or I can delete it. Uh, let's go from there. Now, you can also add fields at any time. And if I just uh, click this add field, you see I can add a phone number, email address, birthday, and then I've got a bunch of other fields. Uh, I've got prefix, first name, I can do phonetic uh, pronunciation of the first name or the middle name or the last name uh, right here. Uh, I've got maiden names, I've got all kinds of things, department, job, title. Uh, and you can see here I've got a lot of social media uh, information down here as well. Uh, as different birthdays and, and that sort of thing. So I can add fields right from this area here. Now, if I want to customize this a little bit more, uh, I can do that in the preferences. And I'm going to show you how to do that when we talk about setting up contacts. Uh, down here, I can take notes. And one of the nice things about Card Hop is it does have these notes on here that you can take. And the great thing is, is I can just add a timestamp. And so it sets a timestamp up there. And then I can start typing the note. And I know exactly when I've taken the note and at what time. Uh, at any time, I can just highlight it and delete it as well, and it goes back to normal. So that gives you an idea of how these various cards work. What I'm going to do is let's just click into the gear icon here and just show you a few other things that you can do. In fact, let me make sure that I select this contact, then let's go over here. 
Uh, now I can choose uh, again to reattach this up to the menu bar or keep it in the front and I just got it set here the way I want it. Uh, I can do a new card from here, a new group, and I can say where I want the group to go in which one of my email clients. I can do a smart group uh, where I use different factors to set that up and I can delete the card. And then I can import V cards, I can export V cards to share with others. Uh, I can also share over all of the different sharing services that I have on my Mac, which is really nice. And then I can choose what I want to view. Uh, I can view uh, birthdays, favorites. So for instance, if I just click on favorites, you can see that it's going to show me the different items that I have in my favorites area as well. And this is nice so that you can get to contacts that you want to get to quickly uh, right from there. Let's just go ahead and go back in here. Now on the card itself, uh, I can choose to go to the next card. I can add a field uh, right from here. I can uh, edit my notes. You can see all the different things that I can do to a card. Um, and I can also uh, mark uh, as a person, uh, or I can show the last name before the first. So you see, I got all these formatting options in here uh, as well. And I can also choose which card to make my personal card. Now you'll know my personal card just right here by the little icon that's showing right here that this is my personal card right there. And that's the one that I would use uh, in sharing with other people. And so I can go to that card and I can even share the card either by email, message, chat, airdrop, that sort of thing. And then I've got various quick actions like making a call or uh, doing an iMessage. And then I can view the different uh, accounts here uh, that I've got on my Mac. And then I've got a preferences area right here as well. Before I hit that, let me just show you that you can print the selected contact. Uh, you see I get a print window that comes up here and I can print that and I can choose which fields to include uh, if I want to print this particular contact. So again, a nice touch that's included in there. Uh, let's just go ahead and go back in here. So let's go ahead and click on Preferences. And let me just go ahead and center that over here. What I want to show you is that you do have the option to set uh, various things up here. I can choose to open it lo uh, login or not, and I can choose how I want to view this. Uh, I hide card hop in the dock because I don't need a dock icon down there, but I don't want to hide it in the menu bar because I like to have it up top where I can get at it quickly. I can choose uh, to always show the account on contact cards. I can choose different themes, light or dark theme. Uh, and then I can choose to play sounds or not. And then I've got uh, things I can set with text size, my address formatting for phone numbers, first name, last name, uh, how I want to view all of these things and where I want things opened. Uh, you know, if I want to open on the Mac or Apple Maps or some other form of maps. Uh, in terms of actions, uh, I can choose to show the quick actions or not. Uh, again, I prefer to have them there because it's just nice to be able to click on one of these icons and then have the action take place. And then I can choose how I want to do the phone calls. I can do it on Mac OS or I can do it through, so I can do it through con uh, continuity or Wi-Fi calling. And that's what I want selected there. Now when you come into templates, you see this is the template for how a basic contact will go. Uh, I can change any of these things in terms of labels and deleting things uh, whenever I want. I can also add fields in here. And so again, I can choose what the default fields are inside of contacts so that anytime I add a contact, it will automatically show up. So for instance, maybe I want uh, everybody to give me, uh, let's say I want to track Twitter. You can see that now I've got a Twitter field that will always be there in my default contacts when I add them. And then one more thing I've got over here is directories. And so if I've got uh, a certain setup with Exchange or something like that that has a directory, I can add the directory in here so that it will show up in Card Hop for me. To add a new contact in Card Hop, I just come up here and click into the search field here and start typing. Now the great thing is that it will recognize what I'm trying to do. So if I, for instance, type Apple, you can see that it's going to find it as a search because it knows that I've got Apple in this particular uh, account. If I come back and I start typing John, what happens is it knows it can't find a John, so it's not going to do a search, and it assumes that I want to make a new contact. And you can see it's already filled in the first name up there. If I just type Doe, you know it knows it's a last name. If I start typing a number, just like that, you can see that it starts filling that in for me. I can start typing an address. You can see that it adjusts as I start going um, to add that information. Uh, if I type Twitter, I can say at uh, Smith or something like that. And you can see that it automatically knows it's Twitter. So it has some intelligence in there that allows you to fill in your information for a new contact uh, rather quickly. Uh, and as soon as I do that, I can just hit uh, enter and you can see that it's now added that contact. And there I've got John Doe added to my contact list. So again, it works, uh, works really nice. Uh, the other thing I can do is I can say something like call 
uh, myself, and you can see it'll bring up information to make a phone call. If I hit enter, it'll automatically do that phone call for me. Uh, if I get rid of that, I can say uh, email Apple, and you can see it knows, oops, there's no email there for Apple, so I can't do that. Uh, but if I said email uh, Todd, you can see that it's now going to pull up my email so that it knows that I can send an email out. So I can do that right from here, right from the contact area. And you notice there too, I can uh, choose which account I want to email from, and it'll tell me what that email address is down here. So again, really a, a nice intelligent uh, contact application uh, that allows you to do a number of things with it. And as you can see, it's got a lot more features than what's built into the standard contact app that you get with your Mac. So that gives you an idea of how Card Hop works. Uh, again, it's a really great application and is one of my favorite applications to have in the menu bar. Well, that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own Mac or software or need some troubleshooting help, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.